Hey, in the last video I showed you how to create new string resources and how to access it from your Java code and XML. In this video I'm going to show you how to create formatted string resources. Let's go back to our strings.xml. I'm going to remove the string resources we won't be needing. This one, this and this. We're going to create two new string resources. First one is called apples and the second one is named apples summary. We're going to have a formatted string for this apples summary resource. It is going to say you have percentage d apples in your basket. So this percentage D is a format specifier which allows you to format it using integer values. We're going to use this in our program. I'm going to go to the main.xml because we have some error because we have uh, removed these uh, string resources. I'm going to replace this Android resource which is not existing currently with the Apple's string resource and we're going to replace this summary with the oops with the apple summary so this is how uh, your layout will look and since we have not formatted this string with any integer value it appears as it is so to do that we have to go back to our java code I'm going to save this and we're going to go to main, main activity.java so we already have references to the title and summary text views now we are going to format our string resource with an integer value and we are going to set it to our summary text view to do that we are going to do string apple summary is equal to get string r dot string dot apple summary this statement will retrieve this string to your java code so we have the unformatted string which is you have percentage d apples in your basket and we are going to format the percentage d with the integer value so to do that we are going to use apples summary is equal to string dot format string dot format apples summary comma 5 so we have formatted the string now we are going to set this summary to our summary text view. Summary dot set text of Apple's summary. Let's go and run this program. Here you see our string has been formatted and we have the formatted string here in our summary let's get back to code and now you can see two statements uh, the first one it gets the string for you and the second statement formats the string with your values there is also a convenient way to do this first you have to get a reference to your resources you can do that by calling get resources and resources dot get string and choose the second method call specify the resource id of your string apple summary and you can give the format arguments right here and assign this to a new variable and it does the same
the same output and now we are going to see how we are going to handle more than one format specifier let's go back to our java code and we are going to go to the strings.xml let's say let's replace this message the cost of percentage d apples is percentage point two f this is your integer format specifier and this is for your floating point format specifier it can be used with double as well as float what this thing means here is uh, format the given float value with two decimal points and when we try to save this it is automatically saved without any error messages uh, that is because of the new ADT plugin if you are on an older uh, development environment using an older ADT plugin when you have more than one format specifier in your code your Eclipse will report an error uh, and you will find the error marker at this place in case if you are seeing an error message uh, when you are using more than one format specifier you need to add another attribute to your string resource called as formatted equal to false so that's only required when you are using an older ADT plugin if you are using the most recent plugin uh, it is not necessary let's go back to code and since our apple summary resource has two format specifiers one an integer and the other a float value we have to add another format argument here which is a float value as well let's save this and let's run this program here we go the cost of five apples is 10 so this is how you handle formatted string resources in android thank you